Hey guys, just want to give you an update on the CBR build. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. If you didn't see my previous video, go check it out. But I talked about putting on some custom fairings on this bike, custom painted. I even made a design and everything and wanted to get your feedback on that. Thank you very much for your feedback. Um, and I also gave a choice to go with Repsol fairings, but I decided to go with the Repsol fairings. Now it is the older design Repsol fairings that they're actually going to replicate on fairings for this bike. I think that Repsol edition looks so much better. It looks really cool. It has like a little bit more white in it. And it's going to look awesome, especially with these Repsol wheels. I figure I got the Repsol wheels. I might as well do a Repsol bike. Actually, I think the Repsol edition will look better on this bike than the original Repsol bike because the factory Repsol bikes have silver swing arms and silver frames, which I've never been a fan of, as where I have the black frame and, and swing arm. So I think it's going to look a lot better on my bike. I love the high-vis appeal of the Repsol. But I'm not a big fan of advertising for Repsol because I'm not getting paid for them, but I don't care. It's not a big deal. I think it's going to look pretty cool. A lot of you guys gave me some feedback and you thought I should go with the Repsol, so that's what I'm going with. And uh, as far as the tailor-made exhaust, I'm not going to put that on this bike. I decided not to purchase that. I'm going to go ahead and keep my Hyperflow exhaust. Uh, a lot of you viewers out there commented and said the tailor-made exhaust um, is not that great. It looks awesome, but a lot of you guys said that it kind of you've had some issues with it or whatnot. So I don't want to deal with any issues. I love the Hyperflow anyhow. I think it sounds better than the tailor-made exhaust. <laughs> I am probably going to add a power commander on this bike and I'm going to get a custom tune and have a dyno and I will display the results in a video for you guys in the future. So stay tuned for that. The Repsol fairings are currently in production. Probably won't be another, I'd say two to three weeks before I get those fairings, but I'll do a video, um, you know, unboxing video for you guys so you can check them out. Hopefully they come in excellent condition. By the way, I will be selling the white fairings that are on my bike for $250 plus shipping. If you're interested, please contact me via private message on YouTube. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be putting this little doodad on here. This is the uh, timing retard here. And this supposedly, this little $60 part is going to add some horsepower on this bike. Like I said, I will have it dyno. We will see how fast this bike is, how much horsepower and torque this bike is producing once I you know, put this on and put the uh, power commander on the bike. So, like I said, look forward to that in a future video. As far as the new bike, I'm still waiting for a delivery on that. I can't wait. I can hardly sleep at night because I'm dreaming about that bike. I tell you, even if this deal will fall, if it falls through for any reason, I'm still getting that bike if I, you know, I don't care. The bike, I will be getting that bike. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I want to keep it a surprise. But it is sick. It's completely different than anything I've had. It, it completes the garage. It looks awesome. I think most of you guys are going to be pleased with it. I just hope I don't have any reliability issues. But anyways, the CBR stays, WR stays, and the new bike will probably go right here. And it'll be the, the queen of the garage. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. I got some sick mods for it. You guys are going to be tripping, man. It's going to be sweet. But anyways, guys, for those of you that want to get uh, the mods that are on my CBR and my WR250R, if you go to my website at CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Mods, those are links to all the mods I did on both of these bikes. And when I get my third bike, the links will be listed on there as well. And if you want to get my gear... Uh, I'll include links in the description and comment section of this video uh, and also on my website if you click on my gear that that's a current list of all of my motorcycle gear and camera gear and everything because I know a lot of you guys always ask me where did I get camo pants you know hide this helmet etc 
And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos, on my website. And those are uh, playlists with all of my thousand plus videos categorized into those clay playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through my videos. I appreciate all you guys. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps my channel when you hit thumbs up and it helps me get motivated to do more videos. I uh, appreciate all you guys. Subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. So until next time, hopefully I will be unveiling my bike soon. Hopefully this Sunday coming up. That's the goal. So look forward to Sunday's unveiling, but I'll have some more videos in the meanwhile coming up. Appreciate you guys. Take care. Deuces. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original bug out modal van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash bug out moto. Subscribe today.